Richard Parks, congratulations you, on the, you, winning the award, Best Rugby Book of the Year. It's your first book, isn't it? It is, yes. Was it hard to write? Honestly, one of the hardest things I've ever done. Really? Um, but also one of the most incredible experiences I've had. And a real privilege to be able to, you know, share my story, but to write the story in the self introspection and knowledge that I've gained from it but uh, I, I'm still shocked I'm shaking <laughs> I, I, I you it's know, a big deal to get up and incredible. receive an award yeah, in front really of all is. those you know, people and I mean the uh, you know the nominees were so so I genuinely didn't think I had a chance of winning and, and uh, it, it is just incredible I mean I, it, it'll probably take a long time to sink in but uh, yeah Good feeling, enjoy it. And in the book, you're very candid about the end of your professional sporting career in rugby. Did you feel it was very important to be candid and upfront? Because a lot of sportsmen struggle when they end a professional sporting career, particularly when it's sudden. Yeah, I mean, you know, my career was ended through injury. The reality is, however you end a part of your life that takes up so much of your life that you've dedicated so many hours and years to, it's difficult, you know, it's, it's a period of grief and in today's society I don't think even it's just it's not just sports people you know so many people have to change careers or reassess their life or change direction and I find it really difficult I mean I'm quite a private person um, but you know it was really important that if I was going to do the book that I would do it right and uh, working with Michael Aylwin was just incredible you know we we, we really challenged each other but he he really enabled me to to really open up and to really pour my heart onto the page and uh, and although it was difficult i'm actually really proud that i took that leap of faith because uh you know it's sincere it's honest mm. isn't it and you say it's the hardest thing you've done and i, I understand why you say that but <laughs> listen to this list of feats <laughs> You're the first to climb the highest mountain in each of the world's continents and stand on all three poles, North, South and Mount Everest. Yeah. And you did that all within seven months. Yeah, the first and the book was harder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, true, it really is. I mean, uh, it, it, <laughs> it, it's really difficult, you know. I think I've always battled with the vulnerability uh, and actually the insecurities around sport and around high performance. And, uh, you know, this book was... was you know, shone a microscope on that, and it, it's really scary being vulnerable, and it's really scary being outside your comfort zone. But um, you know, as, as I as I as I tried to say, I'm not sure if I articulated it very well, but you, you know, the book and, and and what I do now is really the the culmination of of such an incredible support team I've got around me, and uh, you know, from my family, but you know, to to every single cog in in in, in the machine that that helps me achieve. Um, what I do, even the solo expeditions, you know, I, I really feel so privileged to be part of such a team and, uh, and the book is no different to that. Would you write another one? I'd love to if, I, if they'd have me yeah. back. Yeah. Watch this space. <laughs> Richard, congratulations so on Thank the you. award. Thank Very you. well done. Richard Thank Parks winning with Horizon.